welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So welcome back. Now, I thought I'd do a few videos reminding you that you are the love. You are love. You are the love that you have been searching for your whole life. So in this video, we're just going to let that settle in a little bit. You are the love. You are love. Now, in this video, we're going to look at relationships, right? And for some of you, this one might be obvious because <laughs> how many of you have gone into relationships, right? And that partner is exactly that parent that you had issues with in your childhood, okay? They just, they've got all the same traits, all the same personality traits. Um, if they were controlling, if they were manipulative, if they were, you know, guilted you into everything, um, just pick, you know, and really look at the partners that you have chosen up until this point in your life. Now, if you recognize that the partner that you have is exactly that parent that you had issues with, the reality is that you are trying to get the love from that partner that you couldn't get from that parent. Now, I'm just going to let you sit with that for a minute. You're trying to get the love from this partner that you couldn't get from that parent that you feel didn't love you the way you needed to be loved. For a lot of us, that is the issue with the relationships we look for. We're trying to still get that love that we couldn't get when we were little. There's one parent or both parents for some of us, right? That just couldn't love us the way we needed to be loved. They didn't recognize that beautiful love inside of us. And so our love, our beautiful heart was not acknowledged. And so it feels like it has no value. It feels like it's not worth anything. This beautiful love that you brought into the world that you are. It has no value. It's not worth anything because it wasn't wanted. For many, many people, you go into the world feeling that way, that you have no value and you are not worth anything because your love didn't work. Your love wasn't acknowledged, the love that you are, right? And then there are the rest of us. <laughs> okay, yes, my first relationship, I pretty much married my mother, right? <laughs> it was exactly the same. The same possessiveness, the same manipulations, the same guilt trips, everything. Everything down to the last, everything was the same. And it was only recently that I realized, I was like, wow, I was trying to get the love from him that I never got from my mum. But no matter how much that person loves you, it never makes up for that first initial interaction with the world that you had. If you haven't resolved it, if you haven't healed it and brought it back to love, if you're still sitting in, I wasn't wanted, I wasn't worthy, I wasn't good enough, my love wasn't good enough. If you're still sitting in that, then it doesn't matter what partner you're going to have. And I have seen it. I've seen it with two people that could not love each other more in this lifetime. I've seen it. And yet, neither of them feels loved. I just, it boggles my mind <laughs> that they feel incomplete and they don't feel loved, even though either one of those would give up their life for the other. 
I know that for a fact. They would gladly give up their life if it were to save the other person. They love each other that much. But when you look into their eyes, you can still see the unworthiness. You can still see that they're not good enough. You can still see that they don't feel loved. So I know from experience that the love we are looking for is not in another person. It will never be in another person. It was never meant to be that way. And for so many of us that grew up with all of these fairy tales, you know, a Prince Charming that's going to come and rescue you and <laughs> all of this stuff, we've been sold that our love, the love that we are yearning for comes in another person and it's just waiting for the right person to show up. But that's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. The love you are looking for is not out there in another person. It's always been in here and will always be in here. It's always yours. It's always inside of you. It's what you are, it's what you are made of. And the whole journey in life is to forget that that's who we are. And we spend our whole life trying to find this love in everything and everyone else outside of us. That's the whole point. Only to realize eventually that it's not in that and it's not over here and it's not in that and when you've done that enough times <laughs> and you realize well that wasn't it and that wasn't it and that wasn't it it must be somewhere else that I'm not looking at and with love comes all the other notions the, the notion of joy we do so many things expecting it's going to bring us joy or even with a partner we put all that pressure on them that because they're the right person they're the one right your soulmate the one you've been waiting for your whole life to complete you you put all this pressure on them that they are going to make you happy but there again, that happiness is not in that person because they don't know what's in your heart, what is really, really in your heart of hearts. What's really in here, they don't know. Nobody knows, only you know what's in here. So only you can make yourself happy. You can't expect someone else to read your mind and to know, oh, if I do this, it will make her happy. And if I do that, it will make her happy. And trust me, you could have the perfect partner that showers you with gifts all the time, that takes you out on dates all the time. The perfect partner that no matter what they do, they do the perfect thing every time. They just, they love you so much. They just can't show it any more than that. And you will still go to bed at night feeling unloved. Because the love you are searching for is not in that person. It's not out there. It's not in a partner. It's not in your children. That was my life lesson. I expected when my daughter was born, I was going to be filled with this love that was going to just transcend everything. Nothing was ever going to bother me again. I was just going to be in bliss for the rest of my days because my dream of becoming a mother had finally arrived. And that day came and went. And I love her to bits and she knows it. You know, my daughter, I love her. I would do anything for her. But she is not the love I was looking for. She does not complete me. 
and there is nothing too complete because I am whole as I am. This, this whole myth of you complete me isn't real either. We are complete when we find a love that we're looking for. That love that is inside of us. The love we are. The love we have always been and always will be. And when you find that, when you come back to that, you realise it was never out there you will feel complete again. You were always complete because the love was always in here. It's just that you've been searching for it frantically everywhere else, <laughs> in everyone else. First, we look for it in our parents. You know, we look for them to acknowledge it, to recognize it, to, you know, maybe reciprocate it, you know, give it back so that we know, you know that they're seeing this love, they're receiving this love, we're being the love and they can see it. And in them returning the love, we know that they've received our love. See, it goes like... <laughs> but the whole point for many of us is that we don't and that love feels rejected and that's how we go into the world. And so this video is mainly about the love that we are and how we look for that love in someone else. That will never, ever, ever measure up to what it is that you really, really yearn for in here, in your heart. All right, my darling. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And we'll talk more on this subject because <laughs> it's super important. Bye for now.